welcome to Checkers Library TV. I am Checkers the Inventor. And I am Snoozer, the talking genius robot. Well, it is certainly good to have you with us, Snoozer, and we are happy to have all of you joining us for this show. It is April. Wow, the year is going by so quickly. We're already in April. So much of the year has already gone by, but there is still so much more, and we're thrilled about all of it. Now, April is just jam-packed with cool things to celebrate, and that's how we start every show. We like to celebrate the cool things going on in every month of the year. First up is on April 1st. It is April Fool's Day. Fool's Day! I am so good at pranks! Oh yeah? Snoozer, you like to do pranks? You like to pull pranks on people? What's your favorite prank that you've ever pulled on somebody? One time at school, I went into a utility closet and pretended to be a regular vacuum. Mr. Donahue came in to use me and I said, hello! He was so spooked out! Oh my gosh, Snoozer! That's ridiculous! I can't believe you did that! That's not too bad, though. We don't want to do anything too bad on April Fool's Day, anything too sneaky, but it's a good time to tell jokes, have fun, and do things like that. Now, to celebrate April Fool's Day and to celebrate all through the month of April, Snoozer, I heard your joke this week is the best joke you've ever told. Is that true? Of course it is! I am very funny, and this is my time to shine! All right, so we are really going to look forward to that. I hope it lives up to the hype, Snoozer. That's quite a bit of pressure you put on yourself, but I think it's going to be good. I think, it, I think it really is. Other things going on this month. Now, later in the month, as we move a little bit deeper into the month, we have something really special. It is Easter, and this year Easter falls on April 4th. Now, Easter always falls on a Sunday, but it doesn't always fall in April. Sometimes it happens a little bit later in the month. Sometimes it even happens in March, so it kind of moves around, but this year it's on April. April 4th was originally a Christian holiday, but Easter has become a little bit bigger, just like Christmas, and a lot of people celebrate it in different ways. And one of the most popular ways that people celebrate Easter is with Easter egg hunts and the Easter bunny. Now, Snoozer, what do you think of the Easter bunny? I wish I knew the Easter bunny. I don't know what he looks like. So sneaky. But I love the Easter eggs he leaves for me. Yeah, the Easter Bunny is a lot like Santa Claus. On Easter, we find Easter baskets hidden somewhere in our house. That's something I always love doing, and I know you guys like to look for Easter baskets. And on Easter hunts, those are fun too, and you can actually do those at any time of year, but especially people like to do them around the time of Easter when you're really in the mood to look around for Easter eggs and find things. So what are, you, how, are you good at Easter hunts, Snoozer? Oh, please, checkers. With my giant eyes, I can see tons of Easter eggs. I'm so good at finding them! I can find a hundred million! Wow, Snoozer! With those big eyes, I'm sure you're, you're probably very good at Easter egg hunts. Well, how are you guys at Easter egg hunts? Do you find a lot of cool Easter eggs? And what's your favorite Easter egg um, color? What's your favorite color egg? I've always liked the green ones, but they're a little bit hard to find when you're in grass looking for green Easter eggs, but you can make them different colors. Have you ever done that before, decorating Easter eggs? Yes! I make them with all sorts of beautiful colors! Any way you can do that to celebrate Easter in a creative and fun way, make sure you take full advantage of that. And we're even going to be doing a craft today that you guys can do to celebrate Easter as well with Mrs. Hamilton. That comes a little bit later today. So take advantage of all that. Do all the cool, creative things for Easter. This is the best time of year to celebrate that. Now, one other thing I want to talk about, another cool day that is coming up, Earth Day, which falls on April 22nd. This is a day we celebrate Earth, our planet, our home planet. It is so important to know more information about the Earth. And the best thing you can do is go to the library and check out books all about Earth. It's a great thing to do because if you know more about the trees, water, grass, the animals that live here, all the natural things about the Earth, the more you can do to help it out. Like what? Well, Snoozer, there are a lot of ways we can help. Now, when you guys get older, you can start volunteering and helping cleaning up garbage. Sometimes people leave garbage out and it damages our Earth. When people help clean it up, that's a good thing for the Earth. We can also learn to use less non-renewable resources. Oh, I know those. Those are like oil, gas, and coal. 
Yes, snoozer, that is right. That is what a non-renewable resource is. It's something we can't use over and over again. And as you understand, we don't want to do that too much. We want to reuse things and recycle things and things like that. That's something we have to know about. Also, water. We don't want to use too much water. Water is such an important resource for our planet. So the more we know about that, like not leaving our hose running too long, not leaving the sink running too long when we brush our teeth and use it like that, not leaving the water running too long when we're taking a bath, all those things are little things you guys can do to help out our Earth. Now, what else could you guys know about the Earth? Well, I'm just telling you a couple things. There is so much more you can learn about by reading books. So make sure you go to the library this week, check out a book about the Earth, and ask your librarian for different books you can read. You could read a fiction book, a non-fiction book. Those are stories that are made up or stories that are real. Wow, you guys have a lot of things to talk about. But we're talking about spring and Easter. I think we should ask Zot if he has cool books to check out about bunnies. We want to do that too. Bunnies, rabbits, things like that. Zot, what do you have for us? Zot the robot at your service. Today's selections are The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter, The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown, Pat the Bunny by Dorothy Kuhnhart, Bunny's Book Club by Annie Silvestro. Four books about bunnies to read this month. Goodbye. Well, thank you so much, Zot. Those are some great books to start with. Maybe you can try one of those or check out other books that your librarian recommends for you. All right, great show coming today. Mrs. Hamilton's coming back for that Easter craft. Dr. Dan is going to have a great health tip for you. Snoozer's got that important joke of the week. We're also going to find out what happened. We had a, a mystery last month when Snoozer disappeared and I was still there when we were talking about our toy for Toys in Time. We're going to conclude that mystery today on a special episode. So look forward to that whole bunch of other surprises right here on Checkers Library TV. Do you know? A baby rabbit is called a kit. A female is called a doe. And a male is called a buck. Rabbits are very social creatures. They live in groups. A rabbit's teeth never stop growth. But they do wear down over time as a rabbit chew vegetables. Rabbits can jump as high as 90 centimeters in one jump. The library has tons of books about rabbits. Visit the library to learn more. Welcome to Storytime Theater. Today, I'm going to be reading a story called I Need an Easter Egg. It is written by Harriet Ziefert and it's illustrated by Laura Rader. I need an Easter Egg. Oh boy. Hummingbird, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. I need one for my grandma. No, little rabbit. I lay white hummingbird eggs. Robin, do you lay Easter eggs? Little rabbit asked. No, little rabbit. I lay blue robin's eggs. Little rabbit saw a snake, but he decided not to ask her for an egg for his grandma. Sparrow, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. No, Little Rabbit. I lay spotted sparrow's eggs. Then who lays Easter eggs? cried Little Rabbit. Not me, said the duck. Not me, said the goose. One more. And not me, said the frog. Chickens, do you lay Easter eggs? Little Rabbit asked. We lay lots and lots of eggs, but we do not think they are Easter eggs. 
Our eggs are perfectly plain and perfectly white. Please, Mrs. Hen, Little Rabbit begged. I would like the biggest, whitest, and smoothest egg. Here it is, said Mrs. Hen. Little Rabbit had a plan. He knew just what he was going to do. He took out his paints and his paintbrush and he began to work. Oh, he's got a little card here for Grandma. I'm done, said Little Rabbit. And this is an Easter egg. Oh boy, that is just beautiful. Happy Easter, Grandma. Wasn't that a kind thing to do? He made a little card and decorated an egg for the person that he loves. So that puts me in a mood for decorating an Easter egg and maybe you can do that too. Well, I'll see you next time on Storytime Theater. If you would like to email Checkers and Snoozers, send your emails to checkers at checkerslibrarytv.com. We always look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, just finishing cleaning my checkers pit. Lots of dust in it. Well, the toy we're going to be talking about today on Toys in Time is something I really love. It is the Fisher Price Little People St. Patrick's Day Parade playset. That's right, we are exploring the world of the little people. Now, it's one of the brands of Fisher Price. I love little people, and I know you, Snoozer, you love little people, don't you? to give my toy cars a car wash and imagine that I'm getting a real car wash. Hey, well maybe you'll get that chance today. You never know what could happen because soon we're gonna be taking a closer look. Before that though, let's take a look at this parade playset. The main piece of the playset is this St. Patrick's Day themed train. It's got a whole bunch of details on it like stars, it's got a four leaf clover and plenty of places for the little people to sit. It also has an organ in the back, and watch this, it can even play music. What a great toy, you can bring this out and St. Patrick's Day or any time of year, but especially in March, and kind of go on your own adventure in your imagination. The cool thing about the little people is they're more everyday life type toys. They're not toys that go on grand, amazing adventures as much as just simple things like a parade. You can go on a car wash like Snoozer likes to do. All those sorts of things. I just love these toys. The playset comes with four characters. You've got the classic little people characters like Maggie and Sarah. You also have some newcomers like the mayor of the town and a leprechaun with a clover and a pot of gold. The set also comes with two stands. They've got a cookie stand with clover-themed cookies and a stand of delicious lemonade. Yum! It's a whole party. You've got the four little people characters. You've got the train, the two stands. You can even have other little people come to the parade and watch the whole show. So many things to do, and I really love how it's themed to the St. Patrick's Day season. But Snoozer, what do you like about this toy? music. I completely agree. I love Irish music, especially at this time of year. Well, at some point I'm going to give you the whole story of the little people and take you through some of that history. But right now, we're going to be taking a closer look and we're going to be checking out this amazing St. Patrick's Day parade. <laughs> That's funny. Um... Oh, oh, okay. Um, I, I don't know what just happened. I'm supposed to... Okay, um... Are you invisible? 
Principal? Hello, I am Sarah. What is your name? I am Snoozer. Hooray, the parade is starting soon. Okay, I'm just trying to, where is he? Checkers, if you're invisible, I'm following a little person. All right, let's take a little look-see here. Everything seems to check out. <sighs> Just don't get it. What did I do? Hey, Zot. Zot, the robot at your service. Zot, we were transporting into this toy and Snoozer disappeared, but I'm still here. I looked through everything. I can't figure out why. After you cleaned the checkers pad, did you put everything back that you took out? Yeah, the pieces? Yes, the pieces. Yeah, I put all the pieces back in. Oh. Oh, dear. I thought the train would be here by now. It's 4.10. The train was supposed to be at four! Hmm, where did that train come from? Over there! From down the road! Let me try something. Checkers installed supersonic zoom eyes into me. Hey! I see the train! It's smoking! Oh no! Oh dear! The mechanic is working in the shop right now! Who is going to fix the train? Maybe I can help! Yes, okay, it's called the dexometer. That's the piece I forgot to put back in, and that is why Snoozer is now in the toy without me with the checkers pad. And he doesn't know how to use it. All right, so somehow we need to get me into the toy. We're gonna have to get creative here, Zot. Hmm. Our train got stuck in the mud. We tried to get it out. But now it's just smoking! Well, Snoozer, can you fix it? Hmm, Checkers usually knows what to do, but he has all those inventions. Wait a minute! I have the Checkers pad! I can summon any invention I want! Uh, hey! Now that's more like it. This engine is really hot! That's why it's smoking. Let's use the cool tool to cool it down. I think it's working! Yay! But we need to figure out some way to get this car out of the mud. All right, Zot, due to exceptional circumstances, we're gonna have to do something that we have never done before, but we got a plan. All right, so first, that is me. That's you, question mark. Yes, that's me. You got the pants, the, the hair. Okay, yeah, the body's long. It's really long. Confused. All right, never mind. Anyway, this is the expander right there. You. That's me, question mark. You. Yes. Inaccurate. Yes, you. Inaccurate. It's you. Doesn't look like me. Okay, I'm not an artist. Anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm jumping into the expander. You're gonna then manifest those big arms you have. Turn the expander. Notice how I'm doing it the opposite direction. We usually do it because instead of making me bigger, we're making me smaller, really small. Little me labeled right here is then going to jump out of the expander, travel into this, which is the transport machine that will then send me to Toy Snoozer. Are you following? Yes. Good, okay. Then our Toy Snoozer and Little Checkers have reunited. We grab the checkers pad and we use it to bring us home. Okay, a little complicated, but you get it? Okay. Awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna jump in. No, no. Who's, who's gonna do that? <sighs> Set! It worked! Zot the robot at your service. Great! Zot, Checkers is invisible! Not invisible? 
Checkers is home. Oh, that's what happened. It's okay. I can use this machine to get us back. But first, I need you to help me get this truck unstuck. I'll push, you pull. Good thinking. Okay, little people. Stand back, please. Saved the parade! Wow! What a great show! Agreed. Oh! We better get back to checkers! Five more minutes. Silly is that! We have to get back! <laughs> So I go into the expander, I simultaneously push the remote control, launches the fan, makes me smaller, I jump in, and this might actually work. Snoozer! Sot! How did you guys get back? Oh, police checkers! This checkers pad is super easy to use! <laughs> Oh my goodness, Snoozer, wow! It's really impressive. Well, did you catch the parade? I didn't just see the parade, I saved the parade. <laughs> what do you know? Hey, we'll see you next time on Toys in Time. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dan. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Well, I am so excited that it is finally spring. It felt like a long winter, but suddenly we have all the sunlight, all the birds are coming back, wonderful things are happening, and we're gonna be spending lots of time outside. I love spending time outside. And I wanted to talk about a few great ways to spend time outside while staying safe. Number one is making sure to wear our bike helmet whenever we are riding our bicycle. Believe it or not, almost 70% of head injuries while biking can be prevented by simply wearing a helmet. So make sure you wear one every time you ride a bike and make sure you pick one that fits properly. Number two is going for walks. I love going for walks. I love walking places and sometimes I like walking nowhere and just going out for a nice stroll on a nice spring day. Now when we're walking, make sure we always stay on the sidewalk. You don't wanna be walking in the street. Stay on the sidewalk to one side or the other. You don't wanna be walking right down the middle. You wanna give places for people to pass you on either side. And you don't wanna to walk too fast. If you walk too fast, you might trip and fall. So always walk at a nice comfortable pace and always on the sidewalk. Number three is sunscreen. Yes, believe it or not, even on a cloudy day in the spring when it's not that warm out, you can still get sunburn. The sun's rays go right through clouds and if they hit your skin with no sunscreen protection, you can easily get sunburn. It's very important to wear your sunscreen no matter what if you're gonna be out during the daytime. And number four, last but not least, we talk about this a lot on Dr. Dan, is drinking enough water. It's very easy to get thirsty and dehydrated when you're out running around and playing in the spring sun. Make sure to always be drinking plenty of water throughout the day. If you wanna know how much water you should be drinking, check out some of our old episodes. All right, everyone, well, that's just about it. Remember those four things when it comes to springtime. Wear your bike helmets, walk on the sidewalk, wear your sunscreen, and drink plenty of water. You follow those four tips, you should have great spring days ahead. I'm Dr. Dan, everyone. Let's get back to the action. And now it's time for... The joke of the week. What's a bunny's motto? Don't be mad, be happy! <laughs> Thank you, folks. Well, hello.
Hello and welcome to our project. Today we're going to be making this cute little rabbit. He kind of reminds me of Peter Rabbit, doesn't he? Because he has a little coat on. I don't know if you've ever read that story, but it's a great one to check out at your library. So what you are going to be needing is this, which you're going to be cutting out all by yourself. And there's another sheet where there's a little coat that you can cut out. And then you're going to need a plain piece of white paper. I already cut out the coat to save us time here. But you're going to cut out the rabbit and then you're going to glue it on this paper. So if you contact your local librarian, she can tell you how you can download these sheets. Alright, so I'm going to start right off and cut out my rabbit. So you just got to be careful. Do it slowly and carefully because there's lots of turns. Okay, so we're ready. So we're gonna have to put glue all around our rabbit to make it stick onto the paper. So, just make sure you get all the edges, get up by the ears and push down with your glue so it sticks very nicely in the arms. Try and get all along the outside because then you won't have pieces sticking up, all right? Oops, I got some glue on the table there. All right, I'm gonna stick it on. Smooth it out very nice. All right, once it's smoothed down, and you're ready. All right, I've added some details here. Now, you can color the inner ears and the nose any color that you wish. I'm gonna go with pink. So just try and color those in. I'll do it really quick here. All right, needs a few more things though, doesn't it? Some eyes. I usually just make circles and then fill them in. And then to make an animal mouth, what I do is make a J and a backwards J. And there you have a little rabbit. All right, and I'm gonna put on this little jacket like Peter Rabbit has. So make sure, again, you get glue all along the outside. So it sticks on nice. That's one. You can adjust it if it's not quite right. All right, and let's do the other side and then we're gonna have ourselves a rabbit just in time to celebrate our upcoming holiday. All right, how does it look? So I hope you enjoyed making that project and I'll see you next time on our project. Would you like the chance to have your very own keepsake of checkers and snoozer in your home? Now you can have your own Checkers and Snoozer books or your own Snoozer plush toy. Excellent for birthdays, holiday presents, special achievements, or just to have the fun of Checkers and Snoozer in your family's home. Order yours today at www.checkersinventor.com store. Hello and welcome to Checkers Loves Books. This is just a part of the show where I recommend books that I think you should definitely be reading. We've got two books to talk about today. They're both Easter themed, but they're about two different kinds of bunnies. I think you're gonna enjoy this. And the first book is right over here. It is called Bunny Trouble. Now this is a book that's pretty well worn out because I've read this book a whole bunch of times. It's by Hans Wilhelm. And I've always enjoyed how this story plays out. It's about a bunny named Ralph 
who really loves playing soccer. He loves it so much, but the problem is all the other bunnies are working on decorating Easter eggs. We talked about Easter eggs earlier. Yes, all the bunnies are decorating different kinds of Easter eggs. They're being really creative and doing a great job, but Ralph is just so focused on playing soccer that he's not helping the other bunnies out. He's being a little bit selfish. He's only thinking about what he likes, which is playing soccer, but he's not thinking about helping others. Now, sometimes Ralph gets himself into a little bit of trouble. He goes off on his own. Maybe he gets lost. I don't know. We're have to see what happens to Ralph. Hopefully he'll learn from his mistakes and I like to see him be creative and do cool things too. So the thing I like about this book is A, the illustrations. I like how it looks. It's so colorful. I love seeing the different eggs that all the bunnies are, are painting and putting together. That's great. They're so colorful and creative. I like that. I like watching Ralph play soccer. He looks like he's having so much fun. And there's a lot of that going on that it's just great to see. But Ralph also has to learn that you can't always have fun. Sometimes you have to do things you might not want to do the most. But Ralph might learn this. This is an important lesson. Even if you're doing something that you don't originally want to do that much, you might be able to find a way with creativity and imagination to do something that you didn't want to do that much, but you find a way to make it fun and make it exciting and engaging. Like if you have to clean your room, you might not want to do it. But if you find a creative and fun way to clean your room by using your imagination, it could become a fun experience. And that's something that I think Ralph's going to learn a little bit about. So this book is called Bunny Trouble. It's a great story. It's got great artwork and illustrations. If you can't find this exact book, don't worry. Your library has all sorts of great books about bunnies, about Easter eggs, and things like that. And speaking of bunnies, let's talk about our next book, which is Here Comes Peter Cottontail. Now this book is about Peter Cottontail. That's the Easter bunny. And he's got a really funny way he looks. He's drawn a little bit different. And I like seeing that in these books. Now, this is based on the classic story. You've heard the classic song of Here Comes Peter Peter Cottontail. He's hopping down the bunny trail and I like this book because it's got this different look. The people look kind of realistic. They look almost like real people the way they're drawn and the way they're all colored in. Now the Easter Bunny himself, he looks kind of kooky. He's got this vest on. He's got a very funny face, a big happy smile. And I love seeing how different stories are told in different ways. And of course, we don't know exactly what the Easter Bunny looks like. So artists like to put their own touch on it, make it look different every time. And that's kind of what they do with Santa Claus for Christmas, where Santa sometimes looks one way, and then you read another book and it'll look a different way. And that's how the Easter Bunny is. You'll see the Easter Bunny look different ways because artists are maybe drawing it the way they think of the Easter Bunny, where you might think of the Easter Bunny as looking a little bit different. None of us really know because we don't ever see the Easter Bunny. It only comes out once a year while we're all sleeping. So I love this book. I like how it looks. I like the classic story of Peter Cottontail. It's a real simple story, but if you can find a different book, maybe you go to the library and ask them for this book, it might look a little bit different. And that is great. I love having different versions of the same story where you can see the different artwork and the different interpretations. So check out this book or a book just like it, like I said, at the library to celebrate Peter Cottontail and Easter. So again, we have Bunny Trouble and here comes Peter Cottontail. Two great books to read for the Easter season. Check out these books and other great books. And I will check back with you next time right here on Checkers Loves Books. Checkers Library TV is made possible by libraries across America. Support your local library today. Thank you so much for joining us for this great show right here on Checkers Library TV. We all hope you really, really enjoyed the show and had a great time with us. Hope you enjoyed the Easter craft snoozer, that great joke of the week, all the things we did. We hope you had fun and we hope you learned something. Now, we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about books about Earth Day. We talked about books about Easter. We even talked about April Fool's Day books. Yes, there are books with jokes in them. You can check those out and tell some jokes to your family and friends. You guys have so many books books to read this month and that's great but we will be back every week for our mini episodes and our next full big episode comes out at the beginning of May so keep watching us looking forward to that as we move closer to summer thanks guys again we'll see you next time right here on Checkers Library TV